This morning reminds me of when I was traveling around the country, visiting 30 capitals, trying to get help from governors and dropping off handwritten letters because the FBI was not helping. And I was requesting help from governors in establishing contact because I have a lot of important information to share. Ninety tips later, the government is choosing to strict charge policy to not communicate with people that they torture with the remote neural monitoring program. So they're fucking themselves with their own policy, but that's kind of the way it goes. So yesterday I got a call from Bee's line. Um, in the morning, it was about seven, 740 or 750. I'd need to go back and look at my phone. And uh, I missed the call. So uh, they just called me. And that is on the phone that just died. So I am uh, charging it right now. And calling on a different phone because I've got a number of phones. Because the memory keeps running out of the phones that I have. It puffs up like uh, like a loaf of muffin bread or something. So we're going to call and find out what happened yesterday. And I hope they were able to give some information. So we'll find out. You can see here, it says Verizon, so it means that I've got service, but the call's not going through. This is just one of the ways that this technology infiltrates its way into devices and fix with people. I think it's a directive of Bill and the uh, the claim being made is that I'm an angry addict. <laughs> no, I'm really fucking pissed off at my devices and the cyber crimes that happen numerous times every single day which is, you know, one of the government trickery tools they use. And there's lots of evidence of that through um, people who have testimonials that are even more incredible than that. Government likes to, likes to bully and, uh, and discriminate. And, Just be dicks. I don't get it. I, I, I was not brought up that way. So um, it's something that is uh, more shocking than it is uh, believable because I love my country. Um, but then again, 
maybe it's just the ideals of my country that I like. Because the way that people honestly do treat each other is uh, very different than what we say we are. And that's a problem that comes from the leadership of our country. Uh, uh, calling something something else. Or pretending. <laughs> and it infiltrates all the way down. So... When our leadership does not lead the country and uh, gives examples of trickery and all sorts of other things that are nefarious, then the people adopt what our government does. So if our government does not put its best foot forward, what do you expect, you know? So, it's unfortunate, but it is the truth, you know, and this is a time in history when we don't have to pretend history into existence, we can actually create it for real. <laughs> I know, it sounds like a novel idea to actually honestly do something the right way but we do have that capability and uh, if anybody's able to do it it should be government because no one's going to get in the way of doing the right thing It's difficult to believe there's integrity there when the evidence shows there's not. And there's a disconnect. And it's media's acceptance of uh, poor behavior not being televised that is the problem. There's a slanted view of the world, and I do not watch television. I am one of a dying breed. My television show is enjoying nature and appreciating the world around us and being present in it. And I think it's because of my experience that I've had, that I speak for the people who are too ignorant to know that they're without many rights today. It's not a revolt or a rebellion, it is a wake up call because I'm a non violent. negotiator and peacemaker. The reason I have been violent in my neighborhood is because of things like somebody entering my house while I was gone yesterday and neighbors somehow thinking that somebody invading my property is acceptable. How rude. There are many instances of home invasion that I've reported to the police. I've reported many things. And uh, after 6911 attempts and being denied services from the officers who came to the, the call, um, I began going a different route. You know, they say that you are insane, repeating, 
and expecting a different result. So I went the way of emails and contacting community liaison officers and then internal affairs because it was quite clear I was profiled and being discriminated against. One officer appeared at the door. First thing out of his mouth, Robert, are you on your medication? What the fuck? I called you on a 911 call because I have crime to report. That's a Latino pink slipper officer. Did I write about in my journal? The police have treated me like shit. And it's because of Patty Ryan lying and saying things came from a voice of authority that did not. They came from a man that lives here in central Ohio. It's a problem. And the desire to protect this individual who purposefully got my neighbors to stalk me and fooled them into believing he was with the government is absurd. It really is. And I have offered to anybody or any organization 40% profit share of my published journal, which you can read for free online on Facebook. As soon as there's resolution, it comes offline. And the only way you'll ever be able to read the story is by buying it in print. 12 volumes. And I'm offering 333 pages of their version or their opinion of this situation. So I'm giving voice where I've been given none in my situation. I figure by doing the right thing and by giving opportunity to people that I will be set free because there's nothing in any of my history that deems me to be part of 1% of the population. That's a pipe dream and a projection of an insistent group that now follow me around town and calls complaining about me to like the restaurants I go into or stores. I mean, there's a really sick group using remote neural monitoring. And uh, it's a problem that the government has. You know, if the government did not want remote neural monitoring to become known, why would you have so many victims? That's it. It doesn't make any sense. That's your fault. It's not the fault of a victim who chooses to speak up in defense of other people who are tortured when they talk. At least the people that are controlling me are humane enough to not make me suffer more if I try and fight for my truth. But government does a fairly effective job of silencing people who speak too loudly, which is absurd, but true. The deal is, is I have nothing to hide. There are no skeletons in my closet, and I have done nothing wrong. So they, the police continue to slander and uh, create libels um, all over the place with all sorts of bullshit 
Um, the, the, there are apparently a bunch of illiterate people that can't read a record and do some research on their own, which is sad. It's sad that they play the he said, she said game and believe what people say and are too lazy to actually do the footwork and to find out if what somebody says is true. It's sad. I don't get it. Um, I I expect a lot more from people who are there to serve and protect, but uh, it's very clear that they don't want to protect me because of a bias. You see, the war on drugs is to not provide services to people with a history of use. That's what's going on. So it's discrimination. And um, there's extreme profiling and uh, even calling real crime delusional beliefs. What the fuck? I'm sorry that they can't get their head out of their ass to take a recommendation of looking into my claims. <laughs> so, I know what I know because of the experiences that they fail to sit down and have a 20-minute conversation with us after five years of, of ignoring. I keep trying. And the reason I keep trying, because remember I said before, insanity, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing again and again. Well, in order to prove that I was being discriminated against, I needed evidence. So I've built my case of negligence and profile and violations of my civil rights. And they've watched it build and happen the entire time. <laughs> They're not very smart. Oh my God, it's going yeah, through. <gasps> it's a miracle. I have the numbers of your street address as four, three, four. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to get Appointments, please. You currently don't have any appointments scheduled. Are you trying to schedule an appointment? Say yes or no. No. What else can I help you with? You can say billing and payments, technical support, appointments, or change services. Technical support, please. Internet. You can say, are you experiencing internet issues such as slow speed or no internet signal? Yes. Okay. Well, let's start by power cycling your modem. This resolves most issues and will save you time by reducing the troubleshooting steps needed. No. It may disconnect any ongoing calls, including this one. To power cycle your modem, unplug your modem's power cord. If there is a battery compartment on the bottom of your modem, remove the battery. Wait 30 seconds. Reinsert the battery. Then plug the power cord back in. Once the first few lights on the modem turn solid, retry your internet connection. To hear 
that again, say repeat. Or uh -huh. for a link to a how-to video that shows how to power cycle your modem, say next week. For other troubleshooting solutions, say continue. Continue. Another option that solves many connection issues is a signal reset, which takes about five minutes. This may also disconnect uh, any ongoing calls. Let me try again. Obviously, the prompt I chose was not the right one. See, this is the well, problem with one. automating everything. I have the numbers of your street address as four. Three, four. Is this the account you're calling about? Yes. Here's how I can help you today. You can say billing and payments, technical support, appointments, or change services. <sighs> Again, you can say one of the following four options. Billing and payments. Technical support, appointments, or change services. Technical support. Which services do you need help with today? You can say Internet. cable TV. Again, you can say cable TV or Internet. Internet. Are you experiencing internet issues such as slow speed or no internet signal? No. Okay, which do you need help with? Wi-Fi or email? Wi-Fi. Was that your Wi-Fi or email? Wi-Fi. For help with your Wi-Fi, press 1. Email two. Nobody hears me. Not even AI. Isn't that interesting? What the hell? Please hold a moment while I transfer you to a customer care representative. <sighs> Your call may be recorded for quality purposes. Hi, Lori. My name is Robert Milligan, and I had an appointment scheduled yesterday, and I received a phone call, but I was actually out of town at the time, and I missed the phone call. Um, so I did not get the technical support that I needed that was scheduled for yesterday. You don't see somebody, you don't see somebody uh, that came out, did, do, do you? Uh, let me just go ahead and pull up your account first so that we can double check. I'd appreciate it. My next, my next door neighbor has been impersonating me and the police are refusing to do anything about it. So it's, it's kind of troubling. Uh, let me just go ahead and pull up your account first. Can you please okay. provide either an account number or phone number, please? Your phone number is 614-506-1924. Okay, is this your last call back number in case this call is connected? It's the only one, yes. Okay. Can you please provide also the email address on the account? R E M dot M I L L I G A N at gmail dot com. All right. And can you please verify the name on the account in the service address so I can pull up now your account? Robert Milligan, and it is 434 Midgard Road, Columbus, Ohio, 43202. Okay. Okay. And by the way, Robert, how was your day going so far? I just started, so I'm I'm optimistic. Okay. You know, it's really uh good to start your day with a hot coffee. It's cold right now. Mm hmm It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> I already pulled up the account here, and as I thought 
double check the status of the uh, the appointments last day uh, i just see here that this is completed and they didn't cancel the schedule since this is Outside, they indicate here that the sex type is outside waiver. That is the, this the nine nine seven one three zero? I'm sorry. What was that number that you gave? Oh yeah, uh, the job number of the appointment yesterday is the nine nine seven one three zero, right? I do not know. I didn't know that that okay. had a number to it. Yeah, because this is the only, uh, only schedule that you have uh, last day. And uh, uh, as the status of this, this is already completed. And the tech type is outside labor. So they already completed the, uh, the appointment last day. I... Um, did not, I tried last night to use the internet and it was still not working. Still not working. Because there is no notes from the tech here that they canceled the appointment because the tag is uh, completed already. Well, let me just double check the, the reason why the don't have been done. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely appreciate that. Sure. The other thing, too, is that um, when I returned in the evening, uh, my storm door was slightly ajar and not closed properly. And I always lean against my storm door when I close it. So I'm absolutely certain it was shut. Um, so oh, since I've had many home invasions and uh, things that are taken from my home and uh, have evidence of my next door neighbor using my Wi-Fi network and linking to it and um, having access to all my accounts. I uh, just want to make sure that somebody's not fucking with me, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Really sorry about that. It's really, uh, you know, frustrated. It's it's unbelievable. Okay, give me just a second. I'm just trying to double check your network connection here, and uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any problem with this. And uh, Okay, since, uh, let me just go ahead, Robert, and, uh, do, uh, basic troubleshooting, then if it, if your internet is still not working, then I'll just go ahead and schedule you for a back session, okay? Again. Okay. Does that work for you? Uh, yeah. Okay. I apologize, I couldn't no, be there I yesterday. Oh, yeah, it's fine, Robert. Don't worry. Uh, by the way, Robert, can you tell me what color light is coming up to your modem right now? I'm actually not at home. You're not at home right now? No, I'm not. I'm at a hotel. For how long have you been experiencing this, having no internet connection, oh, Robert? Nine days. And Nine I, days? Mm -hmm, and I was told it was a neighborhood outage when it first began, and uh, and that I would be credited on my bill, which was a really odd statement. So I'm, I'm trying to get to the bottom of what you guys are doing and why I'm being fucked with by your company. I'm really sorry for what happened, Robert. Uh, and, you know, let me just review your account here. 
if I schedule you for a prep visit tomorrow, Robert, uh, do you think that you are home tomorrow? Yes. Okay, so since Robert, you've been experiencing this for nine days now, and I also double check here on the account that you must have a schedule for sex with last day. And you're not at home. Are you not home last day? Uh, I, that's Sorry? correct. I was not at home. So if the technician spoke with somebody who mm -hmm. pretended but who pretended to be me. but they have uh any uh you know someone in your house no i live alone that's why whoever came out um if they spoke with somebody who said that they were me that's going to be a problem for that person and i would need your help determining yeah sure um we're going to escalate that one for you robert i appreciate it mm -hmm. so let me just go ahead and schedule you for a sex visit tomorrow robert give me just a second here So, Robert, the uh, earliest schedule that we have here is for tomorrow. Uh, time, the time that we have here is between 10 to 12, between 10 to 12 noon. And we also have here between two to 12 to 2 in the afternoon and between 2 to 4 in the afternoon. And we also have here between 4 to 6 in the evening. What is the best time for you tomorrow, Saturday? The earliest possible, please. Okay, so it's 10 to 12. Okay. Now, you, okay. you, you mentioned 997130 not having any notes at all. Do you have uh, the technician's name? Actually, we don't have that, uh, but if we're going to escalate that uh, with... Uh, uh, once they review the account, uh, the text ID will be on the, the text ID is on the account. But we are not allowed to provide it to you, Robert. All right. Uh, I mean, things are pretty serious with this impersonation of me going on. And um, as quickly as you guys can move forward with the escalation process, the better. Um, my neighbor has aligned himself with the police department and the police have rejected uh, crimes that I've reported that he's, that he's committed. I don't know what special magic he's pulled with them, but uh, I'm putting a stop to it. Okay. Uh, give me just one to seven minutes, Robert. Okay. I'm going to uh, make a... Uh, I'm going to escalate this one for you, but let me schedule you first for a sex visit, okay? All right. Thank you. All right. Just stay on the line at least one to two minutes, Robert. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I really need. I bet I could take a pretty good stab at it.
Thank yes. you for your patient waiting and I'm sorry for the cold. So, uh, as the safety of our customer and our fellow colleagues are always top priority at Breezeline, I need you to ask a few questions before proceeding with scheduling the service appointment, okay? Okay. No. And has anyone in the home been in contact in the last 10 days with anyone that has tested positive for COVID-19? No. All right. And Robert, as we mentioned before, we are committed to the health and safety of you and our fellow colleagues. If there is anyone in the home that isn't vaccinated, they should notify the technician prior to them entering the home so that you and the technician can wear a proper personal protective equipment and also if the technician is not vaccinated they are also required to wear personal protective equipment so uh robert do you have any questions or concerns complying with this protocol nope all right let me just go ahead now and uh schedule your contact visit and do you think the phone number six one four five zero six one nine two four is that your best callback number for the it is the only one, yes. Okay, and Robert, please make sure that your line is open because the technician will give you a call 30 minutes before your appointment tomorrow, okay? Sounds good. I appreciate you. Okay, let me just schedule. Mm -hmm. Let me just go ahead and schedule you for a tech visit. And just uh, the same for me also, Robert, you can always visit our website, www.breezeline.com or download our application by Breezeline to your Play Store or any phone store. You can check through your billing details, paying your bill online, or if you wanted to take advantage with our AutoPay and Active to receive $10 discount, you can always do that using your online account. Do you need any assistance with your online account? No, I do not. All right. So, Robert, I already scheduled you for a tech visit. Here's the job number. Uh, whenever you're ready, just let me know so I can provide it to you. I am. So, uh, the job number for this appointment is 9959. Yes. All right. Thank you. And um, how will I know what happens with the escalation? Okay. I've got the ticket. Why are you asking me? I asked you to escalate it, or, or you told me that you were going to escalate it. I didn't meet with the technician yesterday, but they did work. Um, I just want to make sure that somebody was not um, pretending to be me. Yeah, I mean, I've got evidence of a screenshot of my next door neighbor's uh, iPhone linked to my network. Um, and then my other next door neighbor, who they live in the same house, um, accessing my Twitter account, my Gmail. Um, <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it's happening through the Wi-Fi. So uh, I I need information from you guys and uh, help in identifying what's going on. So maybe they hack your social media account, Robert. That is what I've said. Well, uh, actually, that is something that we are not. Uh, 
Like I said, I have a screenshot of one of the residents next door linking to my Wi-Fi network with his iPhone. Okay. So I, I, I'm assuming you have data of devices or computers that would be connected to my network. I'm assuming I, I'm I mean this is a area that I'm not very savvy with and this is why I need your help because there's some extremely serious crime that's going on and the police are worthless. And um if they were the cause of this quote neighborhood outage that I've experienced for over a week, I'm gonna go ballistic. Because uh, there is no reason for it. And if you've done that at somebody else's request, that's a lawsuit that you're going to be looking at. Okay, uh, Robert. So just to make sure that I've got your correct concern. So someone is trying to connect to your internet and then your social media account like Twitter is hacked. Everything is hacked. My devices are hacked uh, on my Apple ID and Google accounts. I have evidence of his devices and other devices attaching to it. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty sick. And apparently... Okay, give me just... Uh, Robert, give me just one to two minutes, okay? Okay. I'm just going to uh, clarify this with my supervisor. Okay. Minutes, okay. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. I don't know how many times I've got to catch asshole Ashby being a devil and a pervert. The man's bad news. And he gets everybody entrapped into crime. And then they feel guilty. And then cover for his ass. He's a loser. Maybe that's why the government loves him. So about 45 minutes on this phone call. Yes. Like I said, I'm not at home. I'm at a hotel. So I really don't know.
actually need to give us a call back once you are at home so that we can help you to set up your firewall spot to avoid, uh, you know, hacking your network to protect your uh, network as well. So what you're implying is that my neighbor connecting to my network is somehow my fault? Is that your implication? No, it's not that. Uh, what I mean is that maybe the firewall connection that you have is not active, and that exactly the reason why they can connect to your network connection. Maybe. So we, we, we could go around and around and talk about maybes all day. I need your advanced support in getting this resolved. So I, I, I don't know what you need to do, but I do not appreciate the runaround. And I expect a phone call from the escalated ticket that you just created. So please return the call when you find out some more information. That's fine. If your firewall is, if your firewall is not active or it's turned off, then it's possible that they can hack your network connection easily. And even if I transfer you right now to our uh, advanced technical support, they cannot help you because you're not at home. And that's fine. Can, uh, that's fine. I'll um, call back and waste another hour of my day, and uh, do it uh, when I'm at home. Um, I have recorded this call, and I will be posting it on YouTube, and I will be probably switching services, and I'll look forward to a technician coming out tomorrow to get me set up on the internet again. I'm really disappointed with your services. Have, have, have a good day. Enjoy. <laughs>